Today we're doing a quick review of the All Perspectives Induction Headlamp. Hello geeks and welcome back to Running Geek Girl. My name is Heather and I am glad you are here today. Now as I mentioned in a video recently, I am a member of the National Distance Runner Association and that they are affiliated with Tempo Sports. They have a whole bunch of various athletic gear that uh, different runners will use and this is one that they sent me. Uh, all I had to do was cover the shipping of it. They do this fairly often where they have new products come in. They have members test it out and uh, tell them what they think about it. So this is the all Perspectives Induction Headlamp. And what kind of drew me to this is the fact that this is 350 lumens, which is a little bit stronger than the headlamp I am currently using. And apparently this is one that has a motion sensor. So first of all, we're going to take a look at what it says on the label as far as a description of the product. So first of all, a durable and stretchable headband with silicone lamp shell is adjustable for any head size. Super bright, five light modes illuminate up to 230 degrees and 150 feet away with 350 lumen LED lights. It's easy to operate with one button to switch in between the five power modes. It's applicable to various scenarios such as running, jogging, camping, hiking, fishing, bicycling, dog walking, reading, outdoor recreation, construction, and emergency. Now, a few of the features that it mentions that it has, it is 350 lumens, it is wave induction, a charging time to full battery of 2.5 hours, it is impact resistant up to two meters, and it is waterproof with an IPX4 rating. So this is not one that you want to go swimming with, but if you get caught in a rainstorm, you're good to go. It also mentions here that it is high efficiency. There's a working time of 2.5 to 8 hours, depending on what setting you are using, and it uses a type C USB recharge cable which is included but even if you lose this cable type C is fairly universal you can find a type C plug pretty much anywhere now so you don't have to worry if you accidentally lose the cable you can pick up a type C pretty much anywhere so let's go ahead and open this little box up and see what we've got so first of all you have your type C charging plug here this is one of the little shorter ones which is great from a packing perspective but maybe not so great depending on how much room you have to charge but again this is a type C chances are you have a longer one at home somewhere if you need it and here you go this is the lamp itself and I can tell right now uh, this is already pretty much at its biggest setting and look at this I mean that's a ton of room I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to bring the size way down because I got a little bitty head. Let's see how easy it is to make this bigger or smaller. Let me just go ahead and take it down to its smallest setting because probably that's about what I'm gonna need. There you go, super easy to adjust. Okay, so look right, looking right here, you have your LED light and then you have your main light here on the side. Right here, you have your power button. Right next to it, you have your sensor button so that you can set it to be motion activated. You can also see that if you turn it to the back here, there is a little area that flips up and that is your charging port for when you need to recharge. So let's try this on and see how it feels. So there you go. It is not the super softest or most comfortable that I have worn. So uh, there is that, but definitely with this silicone backing on it, this is not going to slip anywhere. It is not going to slide. It is not going to let any sweat through. Um, so there is that. Thankfully, the strap on the back, that's pretty comfy. This right here, I don't know. It might, uh, after a few hours, get a little bit irritating hard to say. I don't know. While it's not the most comfortable, it is definitely not going to move anywhere. So let's turn it on and see how we're doing. So there's, there it is on. Let me try on, let me try to get the sensor going. Ah, and there you go with just a wave. I can turn it on and off. Now, the downside is that, okay, while it's easy to turn on and off that way, if I need to reach up <laughs> and scratch my head or wipe some sweat off, it's going to turn itself on and off. But if I'm keeping my hand away from my head for the most part, yeah. So I can see, you know, well, that may be a good feature for some people. I would say for running, maybe not so much, but for camping, hiking and stuff like that, Probably very, very useful. Let's look at some of the other modes. So let's just cycle through all of these. Here's your high and your low in your side and the low on the side. 
and then off. And as you can see, you can do motion activation for the side light as well. So according to what it says on the packaging, I can use these brighter lights for about two and a half hours. But if I use the lower setting, then I can get up to eight hours of use out of one charge. So there you go. There is a look at the All Perspectives induction headlamp, uh, just kind of some first impressions of it. Um, I will take this out on some night runs. This is definitely brighter than the one that I have been using. Um, I don't know how much I will use the motion sensor, possibly if I were to uh, take this on a camping trip or something like that, I would definitely use it for that, but probably not so much for running purposes. Um, and again, we're just going to have to see how comfortable this is after a little while of use. So uh, I like the fact that this is non-slip. This is not going to go anywhere once I put it on and is definitely going to stay put, but uh, we'll just see how comfortable it is after a while. So uh, definitely stay tuned to the channel if you would like to see me uh, review this again after getting a whole bunch of use out of it in different scenarios. I will take it on a run, I'll take it on a hike, and I am going to take it camping and we'll just see how it works for all of those different scenarios and where it works best. So if you are interested in checking this out for yourself, I'm going to have a link down below if you would like to take a look. Did you find this informative or helpful? Why don't you let me know down in the comments below. Don't forget that you can subscribe to the channel. Just hit that button down below and it keeps you up to date on all the running content that I have coming out all the time. You can also follow me on social media. All the links are down in the description. You can find me across all platforms under the name Running Geek Girl. Thanks so much for being here. I'm so glad you could join me. Remember to laugh hard, run fast, and be kind. I'll see you later.